Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome. I hope everyone's doing well, having a great holiday season. We have feeling the world. Okay, you're in your feels. Taurus, Taurus. Really enjoying this holiday season. Great and full. Love this energy for you, Taurus. You know, gratitude just brings about so much more abundance. And you are feeling as though you're a very lucky person. We have a powerful move. Okay, Taurus, what are you up to? <laughs> Let's look and see now. I am broadcasting from Chicago, and I would so appreciate knowing where you're watching the video from. It's so much fun. I answer comments, so I always appreciate a thumbs up and comment. I really love to engage with you guys. Let's see what we have here. Three of Swords. What is going on here, Taurus? I do want to look at the bottom of the deck. I sort of forgot to do that. That. we have the hermit card okay so that makes sense three of swords taurus taurus what is happening so in the recent past you and your lover have had some heartbreak let's see what the current mutual energy is a knight of pentacles feeling guarded moving forward slowly though virgo energy three of swords is libra energy somebody said something that was very piercing very challenging a third party could be coming into play and taurus i'm telling you i've seen this in your readings now almost for a year and a half and it typically has come up as a family member knight of pentacles means that you and your person want this to work out virgo energy virgo energy you're keeping very quiet you're kind of keeping to yourselves you're trying to avoid conflict at all cost we see the nine of wands so your person really feels they're in it to win it sagittarius energy your person is willing to do the work they're transforming they very much want this relationship it has been I think a very trying time for both of you. I think it's been challenging. How your person views you, Taurus, Seven of Cups, they're really not sure. That's Pisces energy. Your person doesn't know if you have another person, if you're keeping your options open. Your person is uncertain, but they're trying to stay very dedicated to the relationship in their heart space. Five of Wands. Your person is feeling weary enough to actually think about other people, to think about other options that Taurus, they feel as though in their heart space that they're competing against other people with you. This is very challenging energy. So let's see what else we have in terms of how they view the relationship unfolding. Two of coins. Your person is thinking that they at least have to look at the possibility that the two of you won't be together. They have to at least consider that, you know, they might be juggling or you might be juggling two people because they really feel as though they don't have your undivided attention. What's hidden between the two of you? Perspective. So we get this energy of both of you trying to stay very cool, very calm. You know, that is a card of uh, fortune. Both of you are just trying to look at this. You know, sometimes things are good, sometimes they're bad. You're trying to maintain a very calm perspective of the situation. Spirit's recommendation, Taurus, justice card, be fair, be balanced, be, be very fair. The justice card is Libra energy. Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I feel as though your person doesn't really know where they stand with you at all. The outcome short term is Four of Cups. That energy really speaks to the fact that there's some very real dissatisfaction, some sense of, you know, both of you having put put time and effort into this. But the four is stable. I don't really see it, see it breaking up. But it also is a card of sort of just almost taking things for granted, not really taking action. The four of cups is a card of you know really feeling dissatisfied at a core level so let's go ahead and jump into clarifying this because this is a this is a challenging reading taurus you may make a powerful move but let's see what's going on here because the hermit card says that you and your person are not really talking to each other a lot 
we get the two of swords here yeah what did i say two of swords is almost like trying to ignore each other and then we have the three of swords so it speaks to the fact that the communication between the two of you has been very poor that the messaging here has been very mysterious your person just doesn't you know they you, you know they don't see you as a person who opens up Okay, so what do we have here for the Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Queen of Cups. You both love each other, but there is something or someone who interferes. The Six of Swords, it's healing. That's good news. We have someone who's caused an interference. The Death card, though, in the recent past. It looks like the two of you have really considered breaking up. The death card is Scorpio energy. And when we look at, I do see the death card, though, being on the third party situation. So I like the death card in this instance because the two of you do love each other. You are putting it into whatever um, is breaking both of your hearts and you're healing it. So whatever interference has taken place, you are both working on healing. You're both trying to take this a day at a time. Let's see what we have here for the Knight of Pentacles moving forward slowly. The Justice card twice. Okay, so both of you are trying to stay balanced. You're trying to stay in this commitment energy. Uh, you're trying to stay fair to one another. You're really trying to work through this energy. What else do we have? We have temperance, reconciling differences, closing up anything that's unbalanced, finding a path to each other. It is very powerful. Ten of Pentacles. Both of you really want this to work. That is Virgo energy. Both of you are in it to win it at this point. It really speaks to the fact that whatever has gone on in the past that's caused conflict is not over. But it does look like both of you are in this trying to show your gratitude, trying to see the bigger per picture, you know, getting perspective and really trying to make a powerful move to heal the wounds of this relationship. The Nine of Wands energy, your person is feeling very sexy, very sensual, very romantic. That's what they want with you. Your person really wants you to make a romantic gesture. That's what they're looking for. We see the Queen of Wands, the Aries Queen. You might be dealing with an Aries. So your person is somebody who's very fiery, very passionate, very attractive to many people. They have options. This person does not need to hang around. If they don't want to, this is a very sensi sensual, sexy, attractive energy who's willing to do the work. Pi you know, I'm seeing Taurus here. You have a very desirable person that a lot of people would love to be with. The Seven of Cups is how they see you as very mysterious, not knowing what you're doing. The Seven of Pentacles, they do think that you're invested. They feel as though you've shown some investment in the recent past, that you've done something in a more tangible way to make them feel more hopeful. What else do we have here for you? The Five of Swords, they do feel as though you're unfair to them, though. The Five of Swords, they feel as though you play head games with them. So Taurus, you've got some, you've, you have some real issues here with communication. So what else do we see for your person, Spirit of Pentacles? So we do see the desire once again. The Spirit of Pentacles is a feminine energy that's willing to come in. They're really willing to do the work, but, you know, they see you as um, a person who's very receptive they do see you bringing value to the table. That is a Capricorn queen. Tell us more. Why is the five of wands here? Why does your first person feel seven of swords? Five of, okay. So you've had the seven of swords, the five of swords, and the five of wands. Your person feels as though you are not honest. This is a card that says they think that you sneak around, that you play head games. They love you very definitely. They want this to work, but your person is not overly optimistic. They really feel, Taurus, as though you could just flake out on them, that you could go elsewhere, that you keep secrets. Your person is very dedicated to you, but they don't feel safe. The Four of Swords, 
They're trying to heal from some wounds that have been very serious in this relationship. Ace of Cups, they want a new beginning in love with you. The Two of Pentacles says that they want to go to the next level. They want to close out an old cycle. Um, your person is, you know, they want to heal this love relationship. They do feel as though in your own right, you know, they're very impressed with you. The star card says that your person really does love you at a very, very deep level, very altruistic. Your person wants the best for you, wants the best for themselves. That is a card of hopes and dreams for love coming true. They would like to have that with you. They're willing to do the work. They bring their best self to the table. They're coming into this reading and it can can always be vice versa but they are coming into this reading with a very honest energy wanting to make a powerful move wanting to really make this all work the perspective the wheel of fortune is here the six of cups both of you want this to work the timing is right for the two of you to come together to heal things. The Six of Cups is a reunion, finding your path back in love. Both of you are holding on to one another. You're both very sort of possessive of one another, but you're also holding back from each other. The High Priestess energy says that you really both love each other, Cancerian energy, but very much that you want the relationship to work. The Empress card, look at this. Spirit is telling you that this relationship is a manifestation, Taurus. That's your energy. This is a manifestation of everything that you would want. So Spirit is really calling on you to step up to the table. The Spirit is saying, tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Be fair, be balanced. Give up any potential games that you are playing or that have been played in this relationship. The Four of Cups energy is a checklist energy. The Spirit of Cups says that both of you need to really talk about and express your love for one another, that you need to get out of this energy of not really knowing where you stand, of giving very little love in a situation in which you love each other very deeply. Here we have this energy, you know, making an offer to each other, giving each other, you know, a new beginning, the warrior of wands. You're both very fiery. You're both very passionate. You're both very stubborn in terms of how you bring yourselves into the relationship, but you both want this relationship. One more card, the Nymph of Swords, Clarity. So it does look like you watch each other very carefully. You do pay very close attention to one another. But there's a lot of healing that has to take place here, Taurus. Both of you, your person looks like they're very dedicated. But the energy that I'm getting from how they feel about you is really tough energy. They just do not really know where they stand with you. So a powerful move is being called upon from you, Taurus. So, you know, leave comments below because that really helps me see how this resonates with you as a viewer. But sending you love from Chicago. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, Taurus. It's been a joy being with you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Please drop a comment below and tell me where you're watching from. Thank you.